HydroWise accounts with a contractor plan have a dedicated portal for creating and managing your customers and controllers. This tool can act as a new irrigation technician in your business to help you manage your customers. It also allows you to offer management and monitoring services to your customers to generate more revenue. From the HydroWise homepage, click on Login. Enter your username and password. You will be taken to the main controller that is registered to your account. To get to your portal, go to the settings icon and select My Customers in the drop down menu. The dashboard shows you key information about your customers and their controllers. The savings percentage is the total savings of all your customers and is based on the last seven days. It shows water savings based on reducing the runtime. This occurs when we stop the irrigation due to forecast rainfall or reduce irrigation based on temperature. In winter, the percentage will be higher, summer it will be the lowest, and the spring and fall will be somewhere in between. Scrolling down, you can see the three most recent alerts for your customers' controllers. These alerts are based on alerts that you configure for your customers. To see all events, including any alerts, go to the section Customer Events. You can also see how many customers you have, including any which are yet to give you access to configure their account. These show as pending. There are also statistics on the controllers you manage and whether they're online or offline. This Customers and Controllers section allows you to configure all your customers and their controllers. You can also see your own controllers. The Customers and Controllers map is the main area on the dashboard that you will use. When you first enter the screen, you'll see a list of your customers. The Contractor Account, which is your business account, is always first on the list of customers. Customers will be color-coded by the type of plan they have. Green for a home plan, orange for an enthusiast plan, and blue for a contractor plan. There's also a map which shows all the controllers you manage unless you're using your phone. It's important to enter the exact address when setting up your customers' controllers in the wizard so locations are accurate on this map. The map auto sizes to accommodate all the controllers that you manage. Controllers on the map are color coded by their status. Green is online, red is offline, yellow means that the controller does not have a serial number attached to it yet. Click on a controller on the map to see status information or to configure the controller. You can use the search box to find your customers by name, email address, controller status, or serial number. Simply clear the search box if you want to see all your customers again. To manage a customer, either click on their name or use the menu next to their name to show you their details. You can also use the menu to remove this customer from your account. Once you're looking at a customer, you'll be able to configure their plans, controllers, and users. If you see a controller is offline, you can send the customer an email. If it has been offline for 24 hours, the customer will get an automatic email from the system. If there is a controller that is not linked yet, you can configure that controller and add a serial number. Click on a controller and then using the drop-down, select Configure. This takes you to the controller dashboard. You can also manage controllers from the drop-downs here, just like you can when you click on the map. You'll notice that you can accomplish tasks in many ways in your portal, such as generating job sheets. Adding a new customer is really easy from this page, 
Just click on the plus sign at the top of the Customers and Controllers section and enter their email address. This will set up both the controller and your customer's account. They'll receive an email from us with a Let's Get Started prompt and all they need to do is to enter a password. Scroll down further to see Customer Events. This section shows all the events for your customer's controllers with the most recent events at the top. Events can be errors, warnings, or information, and you can use the buttons at the top of the section to filter the type of events you want to see. If you don't need to see the events anymore, you can either click Acknowledge next to a specific event or click Acknowledge All Events. This does not delete the information, it just takes it off this list view. You can change the number of events shown on this page as well. You can also search for events by a range of information including customer name, controller name, date, event information keywords, or event severity. There are three types of events. Error events, which means you must take action, warning, which is usually weather station information, and you can acknowledge these too, and information, everything that has happened on the controller. This becomes an action sheet. If you keep up with this daily, it is easily manageable. You can now configure alerts in your contractor portal. These alerts can be applied to all customers or individual customers or controllers. This will save you from having to set up identical alerts for each of your customers as they are added to your portal. For example, you can create a contractor level high and low water flow alert. Whenever you add a flow meter to a customer system, you'll get these alerts automatically. You could do a similar contractor level alert for broken wiring which covers all of your customers. You being aware of and taking care of issues before the landscape suffers is something your customers will appreciate and will be happy to pay for. We have also added contractor level watering schedules. Contractors typically have similar settings for each of their customers. For example, water turf twice a week for 40 minutes. You can now create a contractor level watering schedule once and apply it to each of your customer zones when configuring the customer's controller. You can easily change the runtime at a global level and have it reflect across all customers who use that watering schedule. This feature alone can save you a large amount of time. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, you can see what plan you're on and change it. You can also see how your business details appear to customers on our website and update them. You can also access your portal from your smart device once you have downloaded the HydroWise app. You can access the same functionality from your smart device as you can from your laptop or desktop computer. The first time you open the app, you will be asked for your login information. You will then be taken to the main controller that is registered to your account. To get to your portal, select the My Customers icon from the bottom menu bar on your screen. You can swipe down to see the most recent alerts, your customers and controllers, customer events, your global alerts, pre-configured schedules, and your business information. You can view and acknowledge events and search events from this screen. In the Customers and Controllers section, you can search for a customer using the search function.
You can also select a customer and then view the controller associated with them as well as being able to access the menu items. If you select the Zones icon in the menu panel, you will be taken to the zone information for your main controller associated with your account. You can select a different controller by tapping the name of the controller near the top of the screen. You can upload a photo, see the zone details, and edit the zone from here. You can also see the start times for this controller and your pre-configured watering schedules here by scrolling down. When you select the Reports icon, you'll be able to access all the reports that are available for the selected controller. Selecting the More icon gives you access to watering triggers, sensor information, weather station map, job sheets, the setup wizard, and more. You can also switch to local mode here and access the controller directly even if it is not connected to the internet, as long as your device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the controller. So you can see that almost all the same functions are available to you when using the app on your smart device. Thanks for watching this overview of the great features available to you in the Contractor Portal. HydroWise can really be your new employee and help you to manage your customers in a time-saving, profitable way. Please view other video tutorials to learn even more about this powerful tool for your business.